welcome back to another quick builds today we're going to be building the daredevil bow staff or billy clubs or whatever um so yeah they're going to be able to separate from each other and they're also going to have and i uh, figured out how to do this is a cool string inside so this one doesn't retract but the one that we're building today does retract so, since I totally know what I'm doing when cutting a uh, PVC pipe in half with a Japanese-style saw, we're just going to take it nice and simple. So, cut it any way that you want. You could use a Dremel like I did on this one, or you could use a Japanese-style saw like I did on that one. Now, you could also just use a chop saw, which would be very, very easy, but I... I think that would require at least some adult supervision. And I just wanted to get this done because I'm... I'm not patient. Anyway, so when you don't cut off your fingers, that's great. So just remember, be careful, take it slow, and cut once, measure twice. Unlike me, because I messed up and had to cut twice. So here you can see me trying to fix my mistakes because I'm an idiot and didn't measure twice and cut once. So now I have to cut twice and um, don't do it. Just make sure that you got it all nice. So while using a Dremel, carefully sand everything down so that it's all flat. That way you can have a nice surface for the paint to go on and so that it, it just looks better and not like you just bought it from Home Depot. So, uh, after you, um, take this completely unsanded cap top up here and destroy it to absolutely nothing and just a marshmallow on a stick, <sighs> gotta go do it again. Fun times! Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, sand anything you want down to what you want. And this will actually give it some cool texture on it. Unlike, unlike this one where I just put foam on the tip. So, I, cause I didn't have these, but whatever. Uh, I'll come back to you when we're on to the next part, which will be the rope. So if you haven't figured it out by now, you're gonna need a Dremel for, for a majority of this build. And, you're gonna need an ID, uh, badge, one of these thingies, uh, retractable, retractable badge holder, I think it was. Try not to break it when you, on the day that you get it. I did that. Um, so, you're gonna be taking two of, two couplings that go on, that would go here. You're gonna be eventually gluing them together, but before you do that, you're gonna have the fun, where did I throw it to? There it is. You're gonna have the fun of sanding everything down. So you have to sand this down. You gotta sand the insides of these. Time lapse time, and me in a corner again, I think. I don't know. Thanks, me. All right, so with the retractable ID badge holder, you're just gonna wanna be very careful not to go all the way into the plastic. What I'm saying is, you want to maybe get to where there starts to be a little gap between where the plastic and the plastic meet, like where they were connecting, but don't go so far that it, you open up the gap. You just wanna get it so thin that if you were to take, that you could throw it and it would shatter, but don't do that. We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, I forgot how long that took. So, um, what you do is you uh, shave down both. <coughs> to my mouth. Shave down both. Shave down. You see how over here? It's a little thinner, and over here. So you shave down both sides there. And then you shave down both sides down here and on the actual uh, badge holder. So, 
there we go. So this is the mechanism. That's all the ingenuity we have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just kidding. Um, so down here, this is going to be your normal baton now. So you got your normal baton. So here is, wait one second. Swoosh. So everything is unglued currently at the moment and you should have something like this now. Pretty much perfect length and ready for you to destroy some people. Now, I got lucky there. Now, when, when you're going to be, uh, we'll get to the how you can tell which side's which later. But, um, feel free to glue on, don't actually, don't glue on the tips yet because those are going to be silver. I just dropped that. Make sure that you're still able to get this out. So... Always make sure that you're going to have it out, because you're going to need that. It's already so much better. So, um, let's get on to gluing. So, first of all, this piece, this entire piece right here, uh, at that seam, you're going to glue there. But, pretty much for the most part, it's going to be disconnected. So, keep it its own little mechanism, and feel free to go spray paint it silver if you want. Actually, I, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to maybe do that. Or, swoosh. So, for the last one, I to differentiate between the, this, this side is the one with the rope, and I can tell because there are two buttons, there are two things here, and then over here, this one's just the normal baton, and I can tell because of the difference. So, you can either do it, do the, uh, red with the silver or you could do the silver with the red and I'm not sure and I'm gonna go experiment but definitely have the red the silver tips because that's comic accurate so always always go comic accurate when you can uh, we're gonna get on to gluing and then painting so, gluing this part together is actually pretty simple. What you're going to need is some barge cement or some kind of contact cement, but we're going to be using a lot of hot glue. So what you're going to want to do is take the pieces apart, glue, make sure that the badge holder is secure, and glue it multiple times. And then you're just going to want to go around the edge of the coupling, that connects to the other coupling in barge cement. You're going to want to do that on both sides and maybe touch up the ID holder a little bit. Then, when you feel like it's ready, feel free to snap it in place. Alright, when you want to reinforce the actual thing, hot glue the seam and, white, and then spread the glue all around it. That should give you a pretty good seam and it's worked for me on both the builds and I've been throwing this thing around. Alright, thanks uh, Mini-Me, or wherever you are. Uh, let's get on to painting. Before we get to painting, we're gonna put on the, uh, the detail, the, these details over here. We're gonna do it better than this. I still have to fix this. We're gonna, but we're gonna put on the differentiators or something like that. But yeah, let's get to that. Sorry, this shot's so bad. Oh, yeah, let's get to that. Eh! Alright, so once you got your foam on here, uh, and I'm truly sorry that I haven't gotten on to painting yet, I keep, uh, keep forgetting key steps. You're gonna take, you're gonna take a pipe, um, preferably this side, and you're just gonna press down, get, and then you're gonna cut out that inner circle twice, since you got the caps, like I told you to. So... Yeah, and then for this one, you're just going to do the same thing. Get the bigger ones. Or the smaller ones. You're going to put it in as far as you can for the side with this. I'll get to you the side with the uh, thing. I'll, I'll get to that later in a second. All right. See you guys in five seconds or less. What you want to do in there is just make a circle and glue it in there. 
And then on the other side. This side you want to cut a little slit if it will stop moving and glue that down there. And then same thing here, just glue a slit in. And now, you can go freely and extend and unextend. So I'll be back when it's all painted and then we're done. Because all you have to do after this is paint. So woohoo. Thanks guys so much for watching this. And that's pretty much everything that goes into making a Daredevil bow staff slash billy club thing. Now let's go over everything that it can do. If you did it right, it should be able to separate with uh, two separate things not connected. Or not things, but batons. And then... On the other side, it should be able to do this. If you want to go ahead and paint the edge, be my guess, but I didn't because I knew that they would wear off. Now, if you want to add some wear and tear, I can't really help you there. I'm not very good at weathering. <laughs> I just threw it around a bit, and it gave it kind of some cool stuff. And last time, I weathered it by uh, being impatient and playing with it before the paint dried everywhere. So there was, like, silver all over it so yeah all right see you guys later remember this is big studios x tell your friend and bye